uh, we'll be discussing about waveform synthesis in this tutorial. Now, in this topic, you'll be given with the waveform and you are asked to find the Laplace transform of the same. So, the prerequisite for this is you should know how to represent a waveform in terms of standard functions. Right? The, those standard functions are delta function or impulse function and one more is unit step function. Right? So, as a exercise, I will be solving one problem here which will emphasis on emphasize on uh, plotting the basic unit step functions and little deviations of unit step functions so first one which i would be taking is uh, f of t is equal to t into u of t minus capital t right this is u of t minus capital T. The second function which I am looking out for is again I will be writing f of t. f of t is equal to t minus capital T into u of t minus capital T. Okay. And the third one third waveform which I am going to explain is f of t is equal to u of minus t. Okay. The fourth waveform which I am going to explain is f of t is equal to t into u of t plus capital T. So these are the four waveforms if you know how to plot then um, waveform synthesis will be uh, pretty similar to these waveforms so you'll get the feel of it now to draw the first waveform we should know what is u of t right so we know from the basics that u of t is a unit step function which starts from this is u of t is a unit step function which starts from 0 and goes till infinity with an amplitude of 1 right so this is your u of t now what is u of t minus capital T right this is a shifting property which I have explained in, in the uh, signals and systems videos of mine so t minus capital T this capital T may be any value okay it can be 1, 2 or any integer value. So, if you have u of t minus capital T, it means that your waveform gets shifted by this amount. Okay. If it is 1, your u of t will get shifted right by 1. If it is 2, your uh, u of t will get shifted right by 2. And if it is minus 1, your u of t will get shifted left by 2. 1 okay so minus always means that it is your waveform is getting shifted right okay so if you have any doubt regarding the shifting property please have a look into my previous Laplace transform videos uh, which is available in my playlist okay so I will be directly writing u of u of t minus capital T where that capital T may have any value okay it may be 1 2 or any integer value since this is a time domain signal it can be a fractional value as well so my waveform this waveform gets shifted right by an amount t where t may be any value right this is my u of t minus t if at all it is u of t plus t in this case your waveform gets shifted left by the same amount t now you have the multiplication of this waveform with t right so what is t f of t is equal to t with respect to time f of this is f of t i'm breaking this out then we'll multiply individual f of or i'll take f1 of t and i'll take this as f2 of t okay 
f1 of t and f2 of t now f1 of t is t with respect to t so when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 f of t f of 0 is 0 so it will be here when t is equal to 1 somewhere here f of f of 1 is 1 that is somewhere here right 1 so point of intersection is this point here so when t on time axis is 1 f of 1 is also 1 when it is 2 the f of 2 value is 2 so the point of intersection is here when it is 3 it is 3 here so point of intersection is this so you will get a straight line which follows it, it is a linear line or it, or it is also called as a ramp signal so as t grows when it is 1 the y axis is also 1 so you get the coinciding point here when it is 2 you get 2 so you get the coinciding point here when you get 3 it is the point is here so you have two functions right f1 of f1 of t here and f2 of t and you need to multiply those two to get f of t so when i multiply see here this t may be any value it may be 1 okay it may be 2 so if it is 1 what happens is the part of the waveform which is present to the left of 1 will be 0 when you multiply. See here there is no waveform but there is waveform here. This is 0 into something, some value, finite value is 0. So if t is 1, my waveform, this waveform will, will be replicated in my final waveform because the amplitude here is 1. 1 into some waveform is 1 okay now if t is 2 my waveform will start at from 2 so in general whatever may be the value of t my waveform the multiplication waveform that is f of t the final waveform will start from t right it starts from it will start from some point t on the x axis so from which i'll have my waveform so it is pretty simple you just have to know how to plot u of t minus capital t that is the first function and the second function also and then you need to multiply so multiply when you multiply give a particular value to the capital t so that you will get a fair idea as to what is the multiplication where is the multiplication waveform starting from right if this is 2 my the waveform starting from 2 will be replicated here if capital d is 1 the waveform will start from this point in general i cannot write it as 1 because i know i do not know the value of t t can have any value 1 2 3 or any value so this is my final waveform uh, and what is the amplitude when time axis is capital d what is the amplitude when time axis is capital d so you can put it here f of capital t is equal to small t is what when time axis is capital t t into u of t minus t capital t minus small uh, i mean here t is small t is replaced by capital t so it is t minus t it is u of 0 what is the value of u of 0 it is 1 so you get t so this value here the amplitude is t i hope i have uh, made it clear uh, the amplitude at the time axis t is t and that amplitude is got by substituting in this equation now the second one again you have since you have uh, u of t minus t i will be writing the second waveform f2 of t directly since i have explained it in the previous example it starts from capital T with an amplitude of 1 uh, and uh, it will go till infinity. Now, what is T minus T? Right? What is T minus T? Say for example, this is F1 of T which is small t minus capital T. This. Okay. Say for example, you take the value of T as 1. Okay. I mean, 
take an example of capital T as 1. Okay, so what will you get here is T minus 1 into U of T minus 1. So U of T minus 1 is this, this waveform which will start from 1. What is T minus 1? If T is equal to 0, what do you get? Minus 1, right? If T is equal to 0, I'll make it clear here. F of T is equal to T minus 1 into U of T minus 1, right? U of T minus 1 is this one which will start from 1. When T is equal to 0, it is, it is minus 1, right? When T is equal to uh, 1, it is 0. That means it will start from minus 1. At 0, it will start from minus 1. At 1, it will be 0. At 2, if it is 2 minus 1, that is 1. Then at 3, 3 minus 1, 2. So you will again get a ramp waveform for T minus capital T when capital T is taken to be as 1. Right? Now, if I, that is, this T is 1 here. I have taken the capital T as 1. Now, if I multiply these two, where is my waveform starting? I mean, where, where does my waveform exist? See, the, val, the waveform before T is equal to 1 is 0. But here also it is 0. So, but, but there is a wave, waveform here to the left of T is equal to 1. That is, at 0, it is getting a, ampl I mean, it is having an amplitude of minus 1. Even though it is having some amplitude, here F2 of T is not having any amplitude. So this waveform multiplied by this waveform which is going negative is 0. So my waveform will start from 1, 1 and it will go like this. Right? So here I have taken the value of T as capital T as 1. So this would be in general T. Right. So this is my f of t that is equal to t minus capital T into u of t minus capital T. See, if at all you have taken the value of t as cap, uh, capital T as 2. So what would we get is f of t is equal to t minus 2 into u of t minus 2. Right. Again, this would be u of t minus 2 is u of t minus 2 is a waveform which starts from 2 and goes to infinity with an amplitude of 1. And what is t minus 2? t minus 2 is a waveform which will start t minus 2. How would you plot t minus 2? At t is equal to 0, it is 0 minus 2. It is minus 2 here. When t is equal to 1, it is minus 1. So somewhere here. At 1 it is minus 1. At 2 it is 2 minus 2. It is 0. At 3 it is 3 minus 2. It is 1. So it will be like this. So when you multiply these two waveforms, the waveform of u of t minus 2 to the left of 2 is 0. But there is a waveform here of t minus 2. But then when you multiply them, the waveform what you get is this ramp waveform because you are multiplying a ramp waveform with a constant waveform of an amplitude of 1. So 1 multiplied by any waveform is the same waveform. So you get the waveform which is starting from 2. So in general when I took when I took t is equal to 1 my waveform started from 1 and when I took t is equal to 2 my waveform started from 2. So in general it is t. So this is the final waveform which I have drawn. I hope I have made it pretty much clear for you to understand. The third uh, example, f of t is u of minus t, which is pretty simple. You take the ref reflection of u of t. u of minus t, u of t is this. It starts from 0 and goes till infinity. u of minus t is you take the reflection over y-axis. Okay. You take the reflection over y-axis. This is, it starts from 0 and goes till minus infinity. Okay. So this is your u of u of minus t or 
if I write it here, f of t is equal to u of minus t. Now, what is u minus u of t? If at all you had minus u of t is multiplying by minus 1 to u of t. If you multiply amplitude by minus 1, so you get the amplitude as minus 1. So you, it will be somewhere here. So it will start from 0, it will go till infinity, but with an amplitude of minus 1. Okay. Now here, again you have two functions, so better to draw f1 of t, f1 of t, f1 of t is t and uh, t as I have already drawn it, uh, or drawn it here uh, in this case, right? So t is this waveform which follows the time axis because at 1 you have 1, at 2 you have 2. So this is the straight line that with an uh, uh, angle of 45 degrees and u of t plus t I have already mentioned which happens to be f2 of t is a waveform right which starts from which starts from minus t right because u of t minus t is shifting of u of t right by amount t and shift this is uh, i mean u of t plus t is shifting u of t left by an amount of t so this will be minus t right? now why I have taken f of t is equal to t as uh, starting from 0 is because here u of t minus t was starting from positive value of t. I mean positive value of t to the right of 0. So, But that doesn't mean that f of t doesn't have value to the left of t is equal to 0. See f of t is equal to t that means at 1 you have 1, at 2 you have 2, at 3 you have 3. But what about minus 1? At minus 1. You have minus 1 this point at minus 2 you have minus 2 so t is a waveform which starts from, uh, which goes from minus infinity to plus infinity right so this is f of t in general okay here i have been specific i have written it to be starting from 0 now here also i will make it go down right now if you multiply these two what happens is the waveform to the right of t is equal to 0 this waveform multiplied by 1 is the same waveform so without a doubt I can write the waveform here right to the right of t is equal to 0 to be the same waveform here because you are multiplying any waveform by 1 if you multiply any factor any function by 1 it is the same function now to the left of t is equal to 0 see if you take t is equal to capital T as minus, I mean t as 1, so it will be, this value will be minus 1. Minus 1, at minus 1, what is the value here? At minus 1 of, when uh, t, time axis is minus 1, what is the value of f1 of t? It is minus 1. When it is minus 2, it is minus 2. So, when you multiply, by here also if you take the capital T value as min, uh, 1 it is, it is minus 1 so you have the waveforms to the left of minus 1 of f1 of t f1 of t goes from, from minus infinity to plus infinity to the left of minus 1 there is a waveform but in this waveform there is uh, this waveform starts from minus 1 only so these wa this waveform to the left of minus 1 will get truncated because this waveform multiplied by 0, something multiplied by 0 is the same waveform, I mean uh, is 0. So you get only this part. So my waveform would be this waveform t into u of t plus t whereas what is the, this is minus t because it starts from minus t. I mean this f2 of t starts from minus t and amplitude is minus t again right why because if you substitute t t as minus t you get minus t into u of minus t plus t that is u of 0 and what is u of 0 u of u of t at t is equal to 0 is 1 so you get minus t so the waveforms of our our interest are one is this the final waveform second one is this Third one is pretty simple which is this.
and fourth one is this waveform. 